Okay, the first thing we're going to go through is how to set up your categories within Canvas. Generally, once you create a new assignment, it's going to make a list of just all of them within the assignment area. Okay. Um, I have chosen to do specific categories, so I'm just going to take this one that's already been created for me and simply edit it to fit my needs. And when you enter a category, whatever we enter here, um, it does give the percentage and all that area for if you're going to weight grades, we'll go through that at the end. Um, there's actually a better way to um, create this if you already have your assignment list. If you don't, then I'll show you the next option. So I'll go ahead and save this category. And I'm going to create a new assignment group. And again, save that. Where now my categories are showing up. And I have my final category. And what's nice about this is once you have your categories created, if you already have that working assignment list, all you have to do is just a simple drag and drop. So you're not making twice the job of having to recreate the assignments. I can simply take them and just move my already existing assignments down into the categories that I want them. And again, it's just going to be a matter of turning those and moving them down to where I want them to be. Once you have all of your items moved to where you want them to be, at the very top, you'll see the settings for this category, but then you'll also see another gear showing settings uh, for all of this. If you do want to do grade weighting, then this is where you will turn that option in. And you can enter your grade weighting. Um, if your grades are weighted, I do suggest that you turn the weighting option on in Canvas as well. That way students don't see the discrepancy in their grade. Um, if it's not weighted, then it would show them a slightly different grade within Canvas. This will set up your grades um, to be ready to go here within Canvas. And it does show your percentages. Um, again, a recap of what was in the previous discussion and information to be able to turn assignments on. I can simply, that's the icon that you're going to be clicking to be able to send something over into the gradebook or you can turn that option off. Now, when we go into our gradebook, we want to make sure that we create the categories in the exact same manner that we do um, in Canvas because if there's even a spelling error or an extra space, an extra period, it will not uh, move those over smoothly into the same categories that you've already created. This is especially important if you are going to be weighting grades. That way then it's actually putting them over here in PowerSchool into the correct category. So within your gradebook, go into Tools and Categories. And again, you'll see the these are already there because I've used them before. The categories you don't need, you can simply click on and hit the minus to delete. I've got something in this one, so it won't actually close it all the way. But all I would do if I were adding a new one is I could hit the plus sign. I could type my category, spelling, capitalization, again, exactly as I had it in Canvas. You can color code them as you want them to appear within the uh, gradebook. And then, again, it's going to go through your, your different options. And then once you have that, again, it will save it. If you do want to delete a category, simply clicking the minus sign will do that. Once you have your categories set up, you can hit close. When you go into then your grade setup, you'll be able to then assign those same category weights based on how you have them categorized also in Canvas. And again, this is important if 
I didn't have the title exactly labs slash projects within Canvas, it would automatically defer one of those labs when it posted it into the gradebook and it would show it as a, um, a homework, which again, in my case, for my course, 10% weighting versus 70% is going to show up a lot different. Um, so that's going to be where it's really important to make sure that you get those weights and titles exactly the same in both locations. Once you have that and you go into your gradebook, you'll see, let me go back here so I can show you. Once we have an option turned on, this is, I'm working within a course that hasn't yet occurred. Once we have a assignment that we have graded and ready to post, or even just as I just turned on, I just simply turned on one assignment, it will post those titles for you in the gradebook ahead of time so that you're able to see kind of what's coming and students and parents know what, what assignment might be coming up um, and they can check it both places. So if they're not in the habit of checking PowerSchool and Canvas, then they'll be able to look within PowerSchool and see what assignments are coming up. Then once you hit post grades, you'll see anything that you have in there without a due date will require you to put in a due date. Um, you can ignore some if you choose not to use those due dates and then you can post those grades. Um, but again, if you do not have a date, it's not going to post the grade for you. So it will tell you again, you have zero assignments ready to post. And that's simply because I chose not to date that assignment yet for my quarter two.